Hello to my YouTube family. In this today's session, I'm going to show you how you guys can add a floating WhatsApp icon to your Shopify website. So let's start how you guys can do this. Uh, currently, you can see this is the icon and uh, you can press and you can contact with that company. So, okay, now I will teach you how you guys can make it. So let's go to the Shopify and uh, let's use to search for our Shopify. So I'm just logged in. Okay. So now I'm going to only store and here we will go for this default down theme okay you can apply that code on any website okay so i'm just going to add a fresh theme and here i will integrate that functionality so i have the pen over there and now i'm going to take a look for the preview here you can see there is no floating whatsapp over there so let's do it i'm going to click on edit code okay so it is working now so recently we used to know how we can make a custom font option for theme so now we are going for floating whatsapp i will add another section with the name of floating floating whatsapp whatsapp okay and simply i will use to control a copy and i will paste it over there okay then i will copy that css and before this html i will write style tag and i will paste it over there and now give a name to this like floating whatsapp okay now i'm going to click on save let's refresh the page and you guys will see there is no floating whatsapp to make visible we have to call that section to the layout i'll click on theme and here the very bottom of this theme or at the very top of this theme you can put it wherever you want so okay i used to put it our under footer okay section uh, now i'm going to write this name under the section which whichever section you want to call you can call the name floating whatsapp floating whatsapp it's being saved now i'm going to refresh it boom it's there and moreover if you go to inspect and uh, you try to go for the mobile view you can see it is working very good for the mobile if you want to change the placement uh, for the mobile device you can do this as well let me show you how you guys can do this i'm going to inspect this this is the main anchor tag over there and for mobile we want right you can say 20 and bottom i also want to say 20 okay and here i want to say the width should have to be 30 and height should have to be 30 as well it would be so so small make it 40 by 40 uh -uh. okay nice let's try to increase it more little bit more like say 50 okay boom it's fine so now we are going to make a setting for the mobile view we are going to copy this from here to here i will copy this and then over there in the floating whatsapp section i will create a setting i will provide you all of these details in the code you don't need to worry about that but if you want to learn you can learn by watching that whole whole session max width <clears throat> so max width meaning like from 0 to 768 pixel if your device width is from 0 to 768 then what we want to do we want to 
make the right and bottom 2020 and width and height of our button to 50-50 okay now I'm going to save it and let's see if it is working or not nice it's working very good you can see and if we go for the desktop it is bigger okay that's nice that's really nice so now we have to change the uh, link like we want to put the whatsapp phone number whatever we want to put so we can put it over there like 03086223394 something like that the random number I'm, I'm going to put it over there let's save it let's refresh it now I'm going to click on this button and boom it is saying like meet Sony I connect you for your website so you can put a number over there okay so here you can change the number whatever you want and you want to change the text you can change it here but if you want to make it more modern or more user friendly you can do it like if we used to go for the customize you can't control it see uh, it would be at the footer you can't control this so if you want to hide this you want to keep it visible you can't do this to do this we have to apply some settings so for some settings we are going for Shopify input settings input yes input settings boom we are here we need the checkbox first like we want to make sure we want to make it enable or disable so inside the settings i will put it over there and here i will write an id for an id for this like a show whatsapp okay show now i'm going to give a label show whatsapp and default rule meaning like your whatsapp will be visible if uh, if you just need to implement that code if you don't want to make it uh, available by default you can write it false there is a boolean uh, statement over there so now i'm going to write a statement like if section dot settings dot this setting then and if so it is saying if this checkbox is active then make it active if this checkbox is false don't make it active okay so now let's refresh it see if i used to click on that checkbox it is hidden if i used to check then it is available so that's pretty nice now we want to make a setting for a phone number and for this message so how we can do this <clears throat> let's go ahead we will choose uh, text okay and we will put it here and we will say here whatsapp number please enter your phone number okay and then we want another setting over there text whatsapp message okay i'm going to copy this please enter your message and i will save it so our settings so our settings are saved successfully now we are going to implement them so for whatsapp number i will put that over there like inverted commas section dot settings dot this is the number and for the text i will copy the setting and i will paste it over there inside the curly braces section dot settings dot this is the setting okay so this is the way by using you can make very very unique uh, section or component for your shopify now i'm going to refresh it 
and you will see the settings we have created those are visible now and let's suppose I want to disable it it is disabled I want to make it visible it is visible and if I want to put any number like 03 and I put message like hello world it's being saved now let's check it if it is working or not I'm going to click on this hello world you can see it's working fine this is the phone number with which I'm contacting now I will click on continue to chat and here it will say use whatsapp web or if you are using the phone it will redirect to your phone use the whatsapp So I think so my WhatsApp is being loaded. You can see the 46 messages it is being loaded and I think so there's internet connectivity error but it will be working very fine. So let's meet in another tutorial. If you are having any query you guys can left, definitely let me know. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Have a good day. Bye bye.